Uh, the title is, I, th I think it's original with us, and um, it has two phrases in it, obviously, like being godly, being gay. And as you are aware of the discussion, sometimes the argument across our country, and in, in and out of churches, uh, there are some who say you cannot, you can be one but not the other, right? You can be godly, but you can't be gay. Or you can be gay, but then you can't be godly. Um, so it was what it was with some intention that we decided to combine these two, uh, and we think it's in an affirmative way. Although Jody's presentation will perhaps try to prove the opposite, but uh, we think it's an appropriate title. <coughs> Do you have any idea how many verses in the Bible deal with the topic we're going to talk about, homosexuality? Um, there are seven verses, although I think we have eight. We included an extra verse that uh, could be said deals with this topic of homosexuality, you're saying gender relationships, saying gender behavior. Do you know, seven verses, let's say eight verses, out of 31,000 verses in the Bible, okay? I haven't even tried to figure out that percentage. Uh, but it's insignificantly small. Three, perhaps even four from the Old Testament that we'll look at today, and four from the New Testament. There's a, a new Bible that's been printed, and Jody and I looked at each other and said, do you have that one? Jody said, no, she, no I have it. we don't even have it ourselves, but what we're going to do tomorrow is order. It's called the uh, Poverty and Justice Bible. And what is unique about this Bible is that it highlights in orange all the verses in the Bible that deal with the issue of the poor and poverty and the issues related to fairness and justice around those issues. There are 3,000 verses in the Bible that deal with poverty and the poor. There are seven verses in the Bible that deal with the topic we're going to talk about today. Uh, so that's an interesting uh, comparison, I think, on the two topics. So, um, should we do a little cartoon? Yeah. Okay. So pretend. I'm Lucy. And I'm Linus. <laughs> Do I get a blanket? Did he have a blanket? He did have a blanket. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Pretend. <laughs> <laughs> America should get back to Christian biblical principles. So we should feed and shelter the poor? No. <laughs> I'm not paying for a lazy person. We should visit and comfort prisoners? No, they don't deserve that. We should pay our taxes without complaining? No, that's my money and I want it. We should show love and mercy freely? No, that has to be earned. We should avoid violence? No, we have to take out the bad guys. <laughs> we should be gracious to foreigners and immigrants? No, they shouldn't be here. We should seek to end social injustice throughout the world? No, that's not our problem. Then what principles are you talking about? Opposing gay marriage. <laughs> okay. uh, how many states is it now? 37. <coughs> 37. I thought for sure Mississippi was going to be last. I, we thought we'd be last. I'm thinking of starting like a, 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 a bracket, like the NCAA playoff. Yeah, we're going to be in the final four. I don't know. Could be Michigan this one. Yeah.